want to give you a preview of the circus? Okay, let's start in the middle and then I'll work backwards. Because I get this question a lot. People want to know, hey, what was show business like? What's the circus about? And I thought about it while I was driving over here. How do you describe it? Because it just people hear the word circus and they think of clowns and lions and tigers and we had all that. But that wasn't the circus. The circus, Sarah, was like being on a sailing ship. It was like Moby Dick. And we would sail with that show of our own 30 trucks and all those people following us from one city to the next. And like fighting the elements, it was us against them. And on the circus, we just had a connection with people. We had people that were acrobats and athletes, so that it was full of muscles and girls that were ballerinas, so there was great ass everywhere. And to tell you the truth, for a teenager full of testosterone, you could not have had a better experience. We had baby elephants, two of them, and they were harnessed together, and they actually worked and helped pull the big the poles up to make the tent go up. So the best part of the show wasn't the show. The best part of the show was everything that happened around it and the excitement of it. Let me, let me, let me tell you a quick story. When my parents started in show business, my dad had been a B-24 pilot during World War II. He met my mother in Los Angeles. I think at that time they were both married to other people. Anyway, they connected and were married. And years later, I think it's years later, I'll never know for sure. Anyway, I showed up and my dad had done a number of things after the war to try and make a living. And, and, and one of the things he'd done is worked for a guy named James Dolan who owned the James Brothers Circus. And he worked for Jim for about three months and they were best of friends. So my dad had tried and flopped at roofing and other sales enterprises. And he was fighting with my mother, your grandmother. And he went over to his girlfriend's house, maybe that's what they were fighting about. <laughs> And asked, uh, and she says to him in a moments of uh, pillow talk, hey, by the way, Dolan, who owned the circus, he left all of his equipment up in my attic. He had no place to put it, and he's gone to Australia. So my dad made a phone call to Australia, and he, for 50 bucks on an IOU, he bought the circus, which consisted of a contract pad, a broken down popcorn machine, and pictures of some of the acts that you could hire. So he took that and patched it up with my mother. And by the time I was 10, we had our own elephants, our own lions, uh, winter quarters out in Martinez, California with, with about five acres. I guess it would be 10 or 11. And uh, right in the middle of a park, 30 of our own tractors and trailers that moved with the show. And then acts that we'd hire for the circus, maybe on average 20 different acts that would come with the show. And it became a big thing, sweetheart. It was a big deal in its day. The Tenet Circus is now a thing of the past. There was a time for it in American history. And, and its time was when people enjoyed family. And I was with that show as part of that tight family unit for, I mean, for all of my life, of course, but until my parents got a divorce when I was about 20, I was integral and part of that. And it, and it took a phenomenal amount of work to make it happen, but it was so much fun. It was really, really fun.